Hey guys and welcome back. Now after having a massive declutter at the start of the year, I decided to downsize my wardrobe to a more capsule edit for each season. So today I am sharing with you seven easy steps to take to build your own capsule wardrobe full of clothes that you really love and enjoy wearing. So first things first, if you haven't already read this book, then please give it a go. I know this sounds corny, but this book has changed my life. It's helped me to see things in a different way with regards to decluttering, decision making and gaining perspective and what's really important in life. So I'll pop the link down below if you're in need of some decluttering and motivation. So once you've had a good declutter, you can now visualise um, everything that you do have. So start to gather together all the pieces that you have for that current season. So for example, spring is what I'm doing today. Then next I'm laying them out into sections. So for example, camis, t-shirts, jackets, bottoms, shoes, etc. And I'm then writing down every piece that I have already in a dedicated capsule wardrobe notebook. Next, it's time to get inspired. So now that you're aware of what you do have, you can then look on places like Pinterest for outfit inspiration and how to style each piece. I search for outfit ideas for pieces that I already own. For example, if you have a pink t-shirt, you could search for pink t-shirt outfit ideas to see how you could style something a bit differently. I also look on Like To Know It for outfit inspo and I keep my own folder full of likes on Instagram that I can go back and search through. Next, it's time to visualise your capsule wardrobe. So I actually like to hang everything I have on a standalone rail. That way I can see what colours I tend to lean towards and what styles of clothes I prefer to wear for that season. Then once you have everything hung up, you can probably by now be able to gauge what goes together and how many pieces you will need and what you will need to buy extra to complete your capsule collection. Next, it's time to make a final plan. So I find writing everything down and dividing it into sections in a notebook helps me to focus on what I do have and need. It's important to know your style and what colours suit you. So I sketch out my colour palette first and then I again set out and write down everything into sections, starting with camis, t-shirts, blouses, etc. Then finally, I worked out how many pieces I would need to complete my capsule wardrobe. And for me, it is 37 pieces, including shoes. This is a good number to ensure I have everything I need, love and will wear. Finally, once you've established where the gaps are in your collection, you can then get on to the fun part of shopping. Now, it's important to invest in only pieces you really love and know will suit you. I know I can hold my hands up and say I do get carried away sometimes with the excitement of finding something new or affordable, but I sometimes don't think will I really get good wear out of it or is it really my style and taste. So going back to the Marie Kondo book, this book has actually helped me in my decision making process and spending my money more wisely on things that I truly love and feel good in. So guys, thank you so much for watching. 
and please give this video a big thumbs up if it's inspired you today and as always don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell for more inspiration and have a wonderful rest of your weekend and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care, bye!